Joe. Well, you first. Yeah. Huge congratulations. What a victory here at the Betfred World Match Play. Just sum up how you're feeling for us after that. Yeah, yeah. I'm obviously, couldn't be happier, really. I've, I've had a co tough couple of months. So, you know, to come here and put a performance like that on and probably, I think, personally, the biggest stage in darts. You know, if, if you ask everyone, this is where everyone wants to play. It's, it's pleasing, you know, I'm, I'm really proud of myself. We've seen your post on social media about the stuff that's going on. Did you know that performance was in the Joe Cullen locker being what's gone on the last couple of months? Yeah, it's, it's, just, it's just been tough. I think um, there's a lot of players that have things going on away from darts and, you know, there's been, there's, there's more, the, the be all end odds is more to life than darts. You know, if, if I'd have lost tonight, no problem, I'll go home tomorrow, there's no issue. Um, but yeah, it's been it's been a tough couple of months for not 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 for me. You know, I'm 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 sort of one of the lucky ones within our family. It's it's um, it's been like people close to me in the family. So it's you know it's been, it's been tough, but you know I think sort of they're coming out the other end of it, and I think I'm now like saying to to put a performance like that on the back of no form whatsoever is 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 decent. Could that be the performance and the result that sparks the Joe Cullen rest of the season? Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, um, like I said, I'd, I'd done an interview just before the game. You know, there's no better place to find your form than on one of the biggest stages on TV. It's all right, you know, playing out your skin on you know board 14 in Milton Keynes, you know, and and getting yourself you know one win. You know, this is this is where to do it. This is where the big money's at, and I think this is where that I, I thrive, and I think this is where I play my best stuff. Okay, congratulations. Nice, awesome. cheers. Uh, the match play was a big part of your your 2023. Do you feel like there's enough there to, to make it a big part of your season this year? Yeah, like I say, I think um, I think it could be the catalyst of of the making of the rest of the year. Um, you know, I, I, I know that I think well, I think everyone knows that the game's always been there. It's it's just certain factors that don't really materialise themselves. So um, yeah, I, I think like I say, I'm in a better place than you know what I've been in the last last few months. So you know, I'm feeling confident. You know, I've, I've nothing. I've nothing to prove, I don't think. You know, I've, I've done well here and I've done well at most of the tournaments. So uh, we'll, we'll see Wednesday, you know, whoever it be. I think it's gonna, it'll be a tough game. But if I play like I can and I play like I did tonight, it's going to be a tough game for them as well. Was there any surprise at all that you, you were managed to find those levels, obviously coming out of the, the form you've been in? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm surprised myself that I was over 82 for a change. <laughs> um, but no, no, like I say, I think a lot of darts is between, your, between the ears. And um, if, you, if your head's not right, then you know, your own worst enemy, you're arguing with yourself during the middle of games and like I say, I found myself, like certainly in the last few months, struggling to concentrate in games, you know, I've been just sort of wandering off and just thinking trivial things that have nothing to do with darts at all and it's just, it's tough to like remain focused and I think that the best the best stuff that I play, I can't really remember at the end of the game because I'm that sort of entwined in the game, so um, yeah, like I say, I think, I remember I think at 117 to sort of reaffirm the break tonight and I think that I think that probably won me the match, you know, I know the 130, but I think I was already ahead there, so yeah, yeah, I'm really happy. Well done. Nice one, thank you. Joe, when you do enter a tournament in not great form, does it almost feel like a bit of a free roll with not great expectations? No, no, there might not be great expectations away from darts, but I always expect myself to play well, and if I don't play well, then, you know, it's I'm, I'm probably one of the worst losers, I don't see it, but like, you know, within myself, you know, I hate losing as everyone does, so, um, but yeah, there's... I always put massive expectation on myself, but you know I've sort of put things into a bit of perspective of late. Um, and I'd like to say, to, to come out with with a performance like that on the back of playing terrible is is really pleasing. But this is the best place to do it. That trait of, of being a bad loser is that almost a good trait to have in sport. Yeah, if, um, and no one enjoys losing, but if you if you take it well, then you know I think I actually think I do take it well. But like sort of I'm, I'm, my biggest critic, my own biggest critic. Um, but yeah, I think if, if if you find me losing, then I don't think you should be at top level sport, whether it be darts, whether it be tennis or tiddlywinks, it doesn't matter. And what goals do you have now for, for the rest of the year? Obviously, you want to kick on in this tournament, but also a lot of majors coming up. Yeah, just on. just don't play. I'll be, I'll be happy, I'll be happy with that. that. I'll be happy with that. You know, if, like I say, I think that's one of the things I think of late. I've been, I've been losing to players and, you know, I've no issue with losing if it just make them beat you. you know, if Brendan would have gone out tonight and played well and you know, I had a really good percentage on doubles or whatever, I'm, I'm fine with that. But then if he'd have gone out and beat me with an 86 average, then, do you know what I mean? I've not, I've not really given him anything to beat. So I think that's a big thing for me. You know, if I if make somebody play well to beat you, that's, that's, a, that's a big thing. Joe, Joe, thank you. Nice, right, so thank you. Uh, it was a, a rock solid performance. You know, you had the 100 average and you had two tumble check checkouts. And 
it just seemed you'd be more focused on there than you have been in the past. Obviously, you've explained um, you know you've had issues away from the board, but do you now do you feel, as you said, you didn't you wasn't expecting anything, and in them moments, that's when stuff seems to happen. Yeah, I know, I know that I can produce it. I've done, I've done it many times on TV, and I know that this is where I play my best stuff. And I think, sort of, especially in stage games. I seem to find something on the stage, especially here. You know, this is, I think, everyone's favourite venue within Dart. So, and I know that the game's there, no matter what form is. You know, last year I didn't come; I wasn't as bad as this year, but I didn't come in with great form. And I went to got to the semis, you know, and played well getting there. So, you know, I'm I'm not one to sort of read into things, and I felt comfortable tonight. And I think that's a big thing for me. If I if I feel comfortable, then I feel I can beat anybody. Excellent. Good luck and we won't keep you long because it's nice something on tonight. Cheers, <laughs> <laughs> nice one.